everybody. Happy Monday. Monday, January 25. How are you all doing? We're going to make a fun card today. Um, using one of my favorite suites out of the new mini catalog. If you're here, be sure to say hello. Hi, Connie. Hi, Loopy. How are you girls? Hope you're doing well. It's a drippy, a drippy day here in Kansas City, or at least in my part of Kansas City. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Donna. What's the weather in your neck of the woods, Connie? In Iowa, are you getting the rain too? Or are you getting some snow? We thought we were going to get snow. I'm disappointed. We just got rain. <laughs> I don't know what the weather is in your land, Stacy. She's up near Toronto. What is, you got snow, you got rain, you got sun. No rain or snow yet. Wow. We're all getting it. Um, hi, Mom. Hope you're doing good. You are going to get snow later. I, I haven't listened to the news today, so I don't know what they're expecting, but I think it's just rain. Just rain. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, I wanted to remind you, and I meant to have a, a little paper here for you to look, and I'm using my phone as my camera and my computer for you guys, so I'm going to post it when I get off of here. It's sunny and beautiful in Toronto. They sent the snow to you. Well, you just sent precip because all we got is drippy rain. <laughs> um, but Chiefs are going to Super Bowl. I don't know who cares, but that was pretty awesome last night. And you guys aren't going to believe this, but our pastor, and it's um, on YouTube because we do a live uh, service for those who are, you know, stay home and can watch it online. And um, hi, Rachel. He was asked what his prediction for the score was, and it was exactly, what was it, 38-24? He predicted the score, so I know he wouldn't, but he should go buy a lottery ticket, so <laughs> just saying. Um, but that was so exciting. So they get to go to the Super Bowl again. So Kansas City is celebrating today. My son-in-law is, uh, hey, Julie. Uh, my son-in-law is a Patriots fan. He grew up in Maine. So he's happy for Tom. And so um, we probably won't watch the game together. I don't know. He gets very serious about his sports. So I don't know if we'll watch the game together or not, but, um, I know who I'm rooting for. So, um, it was an exciting day of football. I really wanted Green Bay to go forward, but too bad, um, for that, but happy for, um, yeah, Chris, hi, happy for, um, who did Green Bay play? See, I didn't even pay attention to that game. Oh, they paid the, duh, they played um, the Buccaneers. Okay. <laughs> um, yay, I am too excited about the Chiefs. It's, it's our time, right? Okay, I'm going to show you this before it all blows out because I like to make a um, little card for you to kind of show you what dyes you can get. Let me put this up. Whoops. There we go. I'll put me in the corner. Um, these are the dies. This is on page, well, on pages 32 through 34 of the new um, spring mini catalog by Stampin' Up. And if you need a mini and don't have a demonstrator, I would love to get one out to you. Just message me or put a comment below and, and we'll get, we'll get in touch and get your contact information. But we're going to use the, um, we are going to use the die, just one die for this card and the stamp set, but it's a beautiful two-step stamp set. And these are the dies. This is, um, I haven't got the just want to say, 
but it's got all these different um, sentiments. I miss you, happy birthday. So you can put that on the front of your card or, and put these on the inside or whatever. But the floral um, two-step stamps are so beautiful. And then it comes with dies to cut out all of these different sentiments. It's kind of a postage stamp. So I got the flowers cut on there, but I didn't get the just one to say. And those are called the dies. If you, uh, you definitely want the dies if you get the stamp set. I don't know that you'd want to buy the dies on their own, but they're $34. If you buy the stamp set and dies together, you save 10% and you would qualify for a free celebration item, which um, if you don't know what celebration is, that is um, a promotion that Stampin' Up! does every year. And this year we get it two times. We get it uh, in January and February, and then I believe in August. And let me grab... Here we go. Um, you can choose an item or items because there's no limit um, from the little celebration brochure or you can see it online as well. There's stamp sets, there's beautiful paper, um, just all kinds of goodies that you can get for free. So if you did purchase this bundle, which would include the stamp set and the dies, you would qualify for um, a celebration item. So, yay. Okay, this is the card we're going to make. And, um, oh my gosh. Loopy, it's your next purchase. I love this too. It is beautiful, and I've seen beautiful things with it. I'm trying to remember the gal's name that designed this card. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Laura. Laura, do you remember? Oh, you know, it's my menopause brain that I can't think of her name because I know her. <laughs> Hold on, ladies. Might have wrote it down. Davida, Davida Lefty <laughs> designed this card. She's a fellow demonstrator here in the Kansas City area. So um, I just thought it was so pretty. And um, it uses this stamp set. So I thought we would make that today. So what you're going to need is a piece of... Hi, Carol. Thank you. Oh, I, we're just getting started, so you're not late. Um, it's eight and a half by five and a half, and then I've scored it at four and a fourth to make a card base. And then I've got an insert for the inside of the card, and this one is five and a fourth by four, so it'll be it'll fit right in there. And then I've got two pieces. This is gorgeous grape, and it is five by three and a fourth, and a piece of whisper white, which is five by three and a fourth as well, but we're going to tear it. Um, and this was uh, Highland Heather, if I forgot to mention that. So Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape. Um, Davida's card uses Pool Party and Old Navy, so I thought we'd just change it up and I'll show you a different, the same card in a different color. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is stamp our flower and it's a two-step stamp so I am going to pull out my gorgeous grape my old olive for the stem and Highland Heather for the second um, actually Highland Heather is going to be my main base I'm going to put the lighter color first and the darker color on top so I'm going to take oh they're stuck together I'm going to take the more solid image. Let me pull the stamp set so I can show you what image I'm using. Um, this one, the more solid image, and I'm going to stamp it in the light color, which is Highland Heather. You could stamp the stem first. I think I will stamp the stem. Stamp the stamp first. <laughs> 
stamp the stem first <laughs> and then I'll know where to put my flower. That's probably a better idea, right? Because it kind of curls and I want to leave a little space down here because we're going to tear, remember? And that is old olive. Now I'm going to take the the lighter color, which is Highland Heather, and I'm going to put it on my stem. And it has that little divot right there, so it's kind of, it's very helpful for placement. And then I'm going to take the top second step um, image and put it in the darker color. and put it right on top and I'm using that divot again to kind of help guide me. There we go. And it just kind of makes the flower look three dimensional. Isn't that fun? I love that. And then while we got all these inks out on the inside of my card, I did just coming up from the corner here. I did my stem. I think I need to re-ink my old olive, but it's working. I'm not getting a real clear impression. And then I took this smaller uh, floral image with the Highland Heather, the light color. And then there's this small image, which works perfectly on top of these little flowers. Here, I'll show you on my, um, see how I put it on these little flowers, that smaller image. Here we go. Let me pull it, this one, on top of those. And I also put it on this one. I'm not sure if it was designed that way. Hi, Susan. Long time no see. Um... I'm not so sure it was um, supposed to be that way, but I thought it looked really good. So I'm going to take the darker color and put one over here and one over here. And I think it works really well. Thank you, Susan. Since you guys are late, um, this card was designed by a fellow demonstrator, um, Davida Lipke. I think I'm pronouncing her last name correctly. I might not be. <laughs> um, and I just thought it was so beautiful. I wanted to share with you all. So we are going to need the gorgeous grape later. I'm going to leave that out. And we can go ahead and adhere this to the inside of our card. I'm just going to use a little stamp and seal. Carol, the purple is beautiful. You know, I uh, almost did the Poppy Parade or Melon Mambo with Flirty Flamingo. I almost did pink, and then I was in looking at my papers, and I thought, oh, I think purple would look really good. So I went with the Gorgeous Grape and the Highland Heather. And like I said, Davida's card, she used Pool Party and... Um, I keep wanting to call it Old Navy. <laughs> night of Navy. Y'all, I had the worst night of sleeping. It was horrible. Um, I had such a headache last night. I think I stayed up till 2 because my head hurt so bad. Now, a tip I learned from Davida, which I had never thought about, was when you're tearing, this tearing technique, to tear forward and then you're going to get this nice um, raw edge if we tore backwards see here's the back it would look like that so you may like you may like that but if you tear forward you're going to get the nice um, torn edge look so um, I really appreciated that tip. I'd never thought of that. So pull forward for that look. If you, if you just want a torn edge, pull backward. So that was a good tip I got uh, this weekend from Davida. 
I started to say I will post a below um, a comment, and I'll also post on my my page here. But on Friday, I am going to be on Mary Gunn. Uh, she has a game show, a stamping game show, and she invites guest crafters. It's called Craft Roulette, and I get to be a guest crafter on Friday, so I'm looking forward to that again. So um, if you're just sitting around on Friday, we'd love to have you join us. It's on Facebook, so if you look up... Um, Mary Gunn Fun, and it's G-U-N-N -N, University on Facebook. You'll find it, and you'll find the link to it. Um, but it's kind of like um, impromptu. She spins a wheel, a roulette wheel, with numbers, and based on the numbers, that's what you have to make for that episode. And so, you know, within the next hour, you've got to scurry around and create things. It, it picks your colors. It picks elements. Um, it's really fun. So it's on every Friday. Um, but Friday, I get to be on it. And I'm so tickled to death that she, um, she invited me. Okay, I'm going to just take a little... Um, sponge dauber and I'm going to take the Highland Heather the, the lighter color maybe I'll do the darker color and I'm just going to edge that torn or edge I'm going to sponge this torn edge wouldn't this make a lovely Mother's Day card it would also make a lovely um Oh, what am I trying to say? Bereavement card, sympathy card. It's just beautiful. Thinking of you is what we're doing today. And um, so there we go. I've inked the edges. And this is called a sponge dauber. I think you get... 10 in a pack. Um, let's look because I don't want to lie. We might just get five in a pack, but I think you get 10 in a pack. So you can use them for different colors. It always takes me years to find things in the catalog, so if I don't find it, I'll post it later. But things like that are always in the back of the catalog. I usually have a little cheat sheet here that kind of tells me everything. Oh, here we go. Um, sponge daubers are $5 and you get five. So I did lie. It's five sponge daubers. Um, I probably ordered 10 the last time I ordered. That's why I'm thinking 10. Okay. Yes, Carol, I will put that on my Facebook page about Friday. It's really fun. Um, and she has guest, guest crafters every Friday with her. And she, she creates and I create. There's, there's a split screen. It's just really fun. So grab a snack and join us. Usually while my husband channel swims, I, I tune in. But where was I this Friday? I was busy. Oh, I was helping my mom Friday. She had a couple of doctor's appointments and we're trying to get her kitchen. I've been helping her get her kitchen a little organized. So um, we were cleaning out cabinets and stuff. Okay. Um, now I'm going to just pop this up with Stampin' Dimensionals. So I didn't get home till 8 on, uh, well, more towards 9 on Friday. So I missed Friday's episode. But you can watch the reruns on um, YouTube. Look for Mary Gunn, G-U-N-N, -N, Fun, F-U-N-N, -N, 
or just Mary Gunn or Craft Roulette. I think she has a specific channel for Craft Roulette and she always puts the um, the replays on there. Okay. This is going together pretty quick. Okay. Now for the little um, sentiment, I'm using the I'm thinking of you and a little scrap of Whisper White. Oh yeah, all oh, I forgot to texturize it. That's the most important part. I used the painted texture, or Davida did, and it just makes the card. So let's do that. You know, it wouldn't be uh, Make It Monday without me goofing. I'll use my little scooper here and we will try not to destroy this too bad. Okay. Yeah, we need to, I don't know if you can see, isn't that beautiful? I love the texture, so we for sure have to do that. The painted texture um, embossing folder is also in the Spring Mini. And it is a 3D one, so it, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can spray a little water on it and supposedly you get a deeper impression. So I'm gonna stick that on there. We have to have this, because it's it just makes the card that extra texture. I get to chatting with y'all and I forget. <laughs> oh yeah, that makes such a difference. Now it's gonna be stuck to the, oh don't tear, it's wet, so I'm hoping it won't tear. We might have to start all over y'all. Here we go. I didn't put too much adhesive on there. It's going to look a little bit more, um, <laughs> what do you call it, texturized after I'm done with it. I love this thing. I've had this little um, spatula. Um, I don't have the Cricut machine anymore because I hated that thing. Oh, I ripped it, but we're going to put our tag under there. Um, it's because it's wet, y'all. Um, but I kept this spatula, man. I think I sold the, um, there we go. It's just going to look more aged, and I'll clean that out later. But I love this thing. It saved my life more than once. Okay. Now we can put it on there, and I'm going to use a little bit of my liquid glue since this is kind of a hot mess right now. I don't want my stuff to tear it. it did tear down here. It just makes it look older, right? Glad that worked out. <laughs> you love your Cricut, Debbie? Oh, I hated that thing. It would take me so long just to figure out how to do a two-inch circle. Um, <laughs> it was, I'm sure it was me and not the Cricut. Okay, so I'm going to use Gorgeous Grape. And like I said, I'm using the I'm Thinking of You stamp from the art gallery stamp set. There are several you can choose from. And then I'm going to use the little, um, 
label punch that is on the coordinating dies, this one. They kind of look like postage stamps. And cut that out. I can use my mini for that. I love this thing. just seems like it's so much faster to grab and to most dies you know can fit through it unless you're doing a whole sheet of dies I just love it okay and there is a magnetic platform for this I know that there's they're revamping the magnetic platform for the big uh, Stampin' and cut and emboss machine, but I'm, I don't know what's going on with the, the magnetic one for this one. But I might get that if it's available. And I don't have to use so much tape. Okay, I'll put this away so I don't lose it. All right, we're gonna just pop that up with some mini dimensionals and we've already popped this card up so I'm not going to put one on the very end because on my sample I kind of it's kind of hanging off the edge there and if I had put a dimensional under there it would curl down if that makes sense so I'm making sure that the dimensionals are going to be up on this top part Okay, I had ripped it there, but you can't even see it because of the, um, it's crinkly anyway. The paper is a little bit more fragile when it's wet, so be careful if you do emboss it with it, with it wet. Isn't that cute? Don't you love that texture? I love that embossing fold, folder. It is called... Painted Texture 3D. This is like the embossed side, so it goes up, and then the debossed side is even pretty too. So um, it looks like spackle to me. <laughs> okay, guys, that is the card. Um, thanks for joining me today. I had a great time. Um, spending time with you on a rainy Monday morning. I will be back Wednesday for Coffee and a Card. So you all go out there and have a great rest of your day. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.